It's up ahead, behind there. Hey, hear that? Let's move nice and slow. Don't want to scare it more than it's already scared. Take it you guys haven't had much luck either? We found this. Purple fur? I keep telling Stacy it's a unicorn, but she doesn't believe me. I think you might be right, Chelsea. Wait, what? Really? Yep. Weren't you playing with your stuffed animals around here yesterday? Uh-huh. <laughs> Guess we really were on a unicorn hunt. <gasps> Mr. Unicorn! Told you so! That doesn't explain these bizarre tracks, though. Those are totally bizarre. Bizarrely similar to the tracks Ken's binocular strap is making. Just happy it's not a snake. Nice work, Sherlock. Wish I could do the same with the tracks we've been following which look like a cross between two different species. Except they're not. Huh. These kind of look familiar. It's two different species, all right. Which is why the tracks were leading us back toward... <gasps> it's coming from our campsite! <laughs> I, uh, I guess I didn't get as much sleep last night as I thought. How'd it go? Not great. We found a stuffed unicorn, a snoring dad, and each other, but no mystery creature. Actually, we haven't heard the screech in a while. Maybe it managed to free itself? Or moved on to scare other campers. Well, wherever it is, no sense continuing to search on an empty stomach. Who's hungry for pancakes? We're gonna keep searching on empty stomachs, aren't we? Yup. And this time, it definitely came from that direction. This 